Okay, is it going? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't even know where to start, I guess. I just never thought that, like, I'd actually have the legacy that I was able to fulfill. Never thought I'd have all these fans, like, the hundreds of millions of thousands of hours of work that I put into this. I didn't think it would actually amount to anything. And so I guess that we'll just start right at the beginning. Action. All right, um, I guess I'll just show you guys my crib. So this is where I'll be doing all the magic. Um, so right here we have my microphone stand. Um, I got this on eBay for about $20,000. Uh, it has a retail value of $460, so I think I got it for a pretty good deal. Yeah, just put that right there. Got the headphones. Um, over here I have my guitar. So this is where I'm able to write all, uh, all my jams. spoil too much of it but yeah that's a new song I've been working on um there's a song that I started recently with uh this new friend that I just hired they his name is Lil QZ and we just started a new song called Goosebumps what's up my name is Lil Koozie um I've been coming to rapper I grew up in the hood and uh basically this 250 this hat 300 Shorts, 4K, socks, $5. And, you know, I'm up and coming. And I'm hoping to just, you know, be able to uh, work with DJ Daffy and get my career up, up and coming, become the next Kanye West. All right, I, I think this, this should be good. All right, so this, this is just kind of a little thing that, that I've been working on, so. I want to see what, what your thoughts are. So it could go something like, I got you supposed to never hear near me. I have just down my spine. Then I don't know like what next thing could be. Ooh, that's good though. Wait, let me see that. You do a little... I saw you and like a, I get goosebumps whenever you're near me. I get chills down my spine. Goosebumps, oh yeah, yeah. Feel like goosebumps. Yeah! When I heard that, it was just like I could see the pure talent in him. And I turned the camera off, turn the camera off. You know, things were going great with Daffy, but then. You know, eventually the whole thing just lost its magic and I feel like I need to venture out and try new things and don't tell him I said this but I want to start going solo. It was around August 9th that I started getting the suspicion that maybe Koozie wasn't doing what he was saying he was doing. I mean, I, sh I should have been looking for the signs, I should have noticed them like when I'd want to, you know, like record he was all of a sudden he would call in sick or his boss needed him to stay late after work but i the more i thought about it i don't think there was someone else in the picture i think he was flying solo i've been spinning all these bars i've been driving I pull up in the way, I got some last drip. It's going. I 
get visions every night. I decided if he was gonna do things by himself and not together, I was gonna do things myself too, alone. <laughs> about DJ Daffy's career choice? I don't know. They go down to his room like once a week for a few hours and then come back up, so I have no idea. Who's DJ Daffy? I produced the songs and I started sending it to my family and friends and I really liked the response that I got. The camera crew wanted me to film because they said Daffy was at my door, so... Alright. Hey. What? I think we need to talk. Chill! Stop! Chill! Stop! Stop! Chill! Stop! Bro, I ain't capping, bro. Chill. For real, bro. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Listen, yo dog, I think we need to talk. About what, bro? My numbers have been dropping, and your numbers have been dropping ever since we've gone solo, and I think we should get back together. Fine, just do it. I... You know, uh, even though Daffy says that I do good solo, I was actually doing pretty good. You know, I would average about three, four streams per song on Spotify. I got up to like 19 SoundCloud followers. So I think I did pretty good. I think that Daffy's just jealous, but whatever. Hey, Daffy. Daffy, wake yeah. up. Now you might be wondering why I'm living in Lil Pusey's basement. Well, when I went solo, I decided it would be best if I quit my job so that way I could focus completely on music. Well, I did that, and then turns out having 15 followers on Spotify doesn't bring in a whole lot like I thought it would. So I ended up losing my house. Uh, I was homeless for about a week, uh, just surviving on the scraps that they threw out at Chili's. And then I decided to finally ask Flocuzzi if I could live in his basement only condition was once I finally get a job, I have to pay him $15,000. Wake up, any news? Yeah, I just finished uh, producing it last night. I was up until like 10, 15 at night, so I'm exhausted. So yeah, just just give me a second and then, then I'll show you. It's like one in the afternoon, Daffy. When I first heard the new song, I thought it was fire, not gonna cap. Uh, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was really good. And I know that all my friends and family back in the ghetto are gonna love it. And I know that this will definitely uh, mean something big to them, just like it did to me. So it's fire. Yeah. What's poppin', boys? Let's go. I'm back. You know it. Hey. Hey. 